In this video, I'm going to give some tips about two valuable Poly 2 features that I don't think get enough attention. Beat skip and using MIDI to provide track notes in real time. First up is beat skip. With the beat skip feature, you can create complex rhythms and textures with only a few nodes. A node can be set to play every second, third, or fourth cycle, and there can be an offset within that cycle. The first number tells you how often cycles trigger. The second number tells you how many cycles to skip at the beginning of each series. 2-1 means a cycle of two, skipping the first trigger of each cycle. The offsets example is a great one to explore to understand the beat skip feature better. The red, white, and blue notes are different kick drum samples. The green node is a snare. Each node plays every fourth cycle, but with a different offset. You can set up any tracks in your Poly 2 project to get their notes from MIDI input. To activate MIDI in for a track, tap the keyboard icon, then tap the arrows till the MIDI options are displayed. MIDI mode is like random mode, but the track takes its notes from the MIDI input. There are a few handy options. MIDI channel lets you set the MIDI channel to listen to. Latch turns on latch mode. When latch mode is turned on, the first time a note comes in, that note is added to the pitch list and stays there until the same note comes in again to remove it. Without latch mode, the pitch list is the same as the notes that are currently held down on the keyboard. Turn on use velocity if you want the incoming note velocity to influence the track's note velocities. Here's a Poly 2 jam with three tracks. Each track is connected to its own MIDI keyboard. I am using KB1 from Numerical Audio because I like its latch mode.